everyone, this is New Creation 23 from 3DayRespawn.com. Today I'm bringing you a game of Demolition where I just completely own and I dominate a bit. Uh, one thing about Demolition, it I really like this game mode because it gives you a good chance to rush and be offensive and also it gives you a good chance to be defensive and camp. I know, oh camp, but you can camp a little bit. Not really camp, but it's more defending your territories, your bomb defense. So I start off pretty much right off the bat not playing well at all. I think I was blindfolded this first uh, two minutes. I didn't see much. I didn't do too well. But as you can see as the game rolls on, I really took the blindfold off and I pick up my game. But I always start out by just bombing the area that I'm defending because a lot of people will put uh, the rush class on and really try to rush it. See, I missed that guy right off the beginning up in that top left corner. I didn't even see him because I got the blinders on. I'm so focused on guarding uh, A. And then there's a guy down there. Now one thing about core that still confuses me is I just shot that guy plenty of times um, to kill him and he didn't die so that's one of my complaints but I am using a silencer and you know Call of Duty says that silencers don't do the same damage so I guess they don't do the same damage but um yeah I really enjoy playing this game I've been playing core a lot more because when you play hardcore everybody just lays down in corners and camps at least this you can uh, move around a bit and this is dumb of me. I didn't. St I didn't even see that guy. Blindfold still on. Here's where I take the blindfold off. But like I was saying, um, with core, I just have to accept the fact that it's, it's going to take me a lot more to kill somebody. I'd rather have that than just play people camping in corners the whole game because that doesn't get fun, you know. And, I, and this is coming from an old camper that I used to camp a lot and do well. But I've I've gotten over that phase in my life. Um, but right here, once we usually plant or I try to press forward a little bit into their spawn and here's where I confuse them a little bit I come up in here and they saw me go up and they try to get me and uh, I do not get gotten they miss with like two grenades they th they finally get me with the stun there's a grenade coming up they get me with a stun but the guy comes up the ladder like real slow and stops and looks at me and he's like hey I'll just look at you real quick um, so he looks at me and nothing happens it's pretty funny I get stunned and here he comes up he looks at me like hey oh and you're dead and then his buddy comes up behind me and gets hit by my claymore. At this point, I know I have to go, so I get down, and I do a little flank. I see this guy, I stab him in the back. And uh, I move forward, this guy saves my life. And I just kind of, what I do is if I catch contact, I move very quickly from where I caught contact dot and move to a different area. Um, so now that I'm here, I'm going to try to move, because they know that I'm here now. Especially in core, because they get the kill cam. So I try to stay moving. Right there, I was looking forward, and he came to my left. Um... But yeah, like I said, this is a really good game mode if you're tired of playing games where people just lay in corners. You have to be active. And if, if your teammate isn't active, if your teams aren't active, you'll lose every time. Like this, these other guys, most of the team on their side, it seems like they're going for kills and not for actually defusing or planting bombs. So they're not doing too well. Or we're just that good. I think two guys were planting. Um, but I know I get a couple defuses and a couple plants, which is pretty cool. Took me a while to kill that guy. Um... But I defuse this one. But yeah, like this is a game that I game type that I play when I'm just tired of core and tired of playing hardcore team deathmatch, and it just gives me a chance to be able to do something different, use a couple different um, kinds of offense and defense. I love sentry guns in this because you can block it. Also, I'm using uh, Nova Gas. Now twice this happens to me. I come around this corner. There's two guys in this corner. I get one, and then the other guy kills me. That's just bad luck. It happens again later on in the game, and I'll point that out and be bitter about it. <laughs> um, but I just like defending. It's pretty cool because um, it gives you a chance to camp, but also you have to press forward and make sure. But I have a pretty sick grenade here. They pl they plant right here, but I get a good grenade kill. I think I kill somebody's... Uh, yeah, I killed their little car. This guy, I miss him completely. Oh, boy. Then I get an assist on this guy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this gives it a good chance to break up the mundane. There we go. Got this guy. There we go. It's just different from Team Deathmatch. You get a good chance to um, play offense and defense. I like it a lot. And like I said, I had a pretty good round. I use the M16 with the ACOG, and I do pretty well with it. And also, I, I have Warlord Pro, so I can have two grenades and two uh, Nova Gases. Nova Gases are good because if somebody's planning, you can throw the Nova Gas on there, and it kills them as they plant. And if somebody just hits them with a flash or whatever, they die. So I missed this guy. Kill one. There's another guy laying there. I didn't see him. I thought the other guy was going to get him. So he plants, but I think we end up defusing it. They don't even get, um, they don't get any plants on us this time. But here, I start pressing forward because I know they're going to try to rush. So if I press forward a little bit, it throws them off. Um, and I think the round ends right now with me. Nope, coming up pretty soon then. But I just kind of run circles around this little building. This guy should have killed me, but he didn't. So... 
but yeah, like I said, I use the Nova Gas because it's fantastic for people that are planning. Um, I use Ninja Pro and um, the other one. <laughs> Forget the other one. Ghost Pro, Ninja and Ghost. Because usually, like, and the round ends. Um, but usually, when you're using those kind of things, it's for hardcore. But I'm using my same exact get up for hardcore that I am for core. But I really do believe that only two bursts of a M16 to somebody's chest should work. Now here's where I um, pretty much own this whole round on my own. Um, I try to rush out right away. Even though we have a uh, SR-71, I still rush out like a moron and I go out and get killed right away by a guy that I should have saw. But, you know, just for 20 seconds I put the blinders on. But I run out and I get a guy, I think this guy, I get an assist because that's fantastic. A bunch of hit markers and assist. And this guy I don't even see. I'm just, I was trying to rush and plant my uh, sentry gun, because if you get your sentry gun planted out in front of that when you're trying to uh, plant, it's it's awesome. So eventually I do get my uh, sentry gun out in front, and then from there, it pretty much just owns. Sentry guns do pretty well, because a lot of people don't use uh, blockers for that in this game type. So I come out, plant it right away, drop this right behind me, and then I dive down and I plant. With it right behind me, nobody can get me unless they have a grenade. And I'm not using flak jacket. Usually, sometimes I'll put on flak jacket if I if I know that I'm going to be planning a lot. But I decided not to, so I come over here and survive somehow. <laughs> then I die right over here. I get in a fight with this guy that's already pulling his trigger, and I'm like, ah, there's nothing I can do. So I come back. That one's already planted. My uh, my sentry gun's getting kills, and Here's where I like to push forward. If the, if the bomb's planted, here's where your teammate should push forward and block them. Don't sit around the bomb because people can just throw grenades. But you're going to do is you're going to push forward, and it keeps them back. So while they're you know busy over there, I'm like, hey, nobody's at B. I'll come over here and plant at B also. So I come over here, plant at B, and uh, that's pretty much all she wrote for planting bombs. I'm able to kill a few more guys uh, guarding over here. I seen a guy jump down over there. Come over here. He doesn't pop out. Um, I got a bomb kill over there, so I got the points. This guy never came through, shot him. Plant the claymore. Guy's defusing. I miss him like six times. Oh, missing, missing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. Finally got him. But, yeah, um, if you haven't checked out 3D Respawn, and this is your first time checking out 3D Respawn videos, we're just a Christian video game website that likes to play video games and not have people talk about our moms. Um, and just be swearing and nasty all the time. But we also have a good time and are pretty competitive, and we have a ton of uh, groups and events that are always going on. So if you're interested, make sure to shine up, sign, ah, shine up? <laughs> sign up to the website and uh, say what's up on the welcome mat. And uh, that's pretty much the end of the game. Like I said, check out 3dayrespawn.com if you are interested. we got a ton of stuff going on. we got thousands of members. Um, we're going to be going, we do a bunch of events. We go to concerts and called Purple Door and Creation, and we have booths yeah. and stuff like that. So thanks for checking out this video. We'll have a couple more up from 3D Respawn. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube page, and God bless.